Runs assassin. Runs up that. Not dad. Runs up down. His name's Wally, and he's a dog. And my name's Jack, and I'm a magician. And together, we're going to answer the question: Do magic tricks work on dogs? Now, it's probably fair to say most dogs can be tricked with a simple false throw. What? Where'd that go? But to be fair to Wally, he pretty much sussed me out the second time. Ah, oh, right, I'm not going for that dog. Where'd it go? It's another random pillar. But I want to try this with proper magic tricks. Let's see if he can comprehend if something's not quite right. He's a two-year-old cocker Nice one. He's a two-year-old... He's a two-year-old cocker <laughs> I'm trying to say the line. He's a two-year-old cocker spaniel. It's hard enough getting his attention on anything that isn't balls or treats related. Never mind magic tricks. So let's start with levitating something. Surely that's got to fool him at least a little bit. Look, if I chuck it to you, bang, comes back. Like that. It's floating. Snap. 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 Wally. Right, okay. Bang. Right, so he's clearly not bothered for levitation. We need something that's going to grab his attention, definitely. What about the classic paper balls over the head trick? This is a routine designed for one person. It's a masterclass in timing and misdirection, a concept I worry might be lost on Wally. What's the ball? It's in the round, isn't it? It's just there. What's the ball? One, two, three. What's it? It's just there. What's it? Right, this is done. I'm going to go one, two, three, and you're going to guess like here or here. One, two. What's that? You're not having any of this, are you? No. Misdirection doesn't work on him. So we need something, a trick where he can just stare at it and the magic still happens. I think a coin trick might work. Now, I know that sounds quite weird doing a coin trick on a dog, but the reason I've got this idea is I did something similar ages ago, back when he was a pup, and he was more into it than you'd expect. But that was a long time ago, and to be honest, I think he was just happy getting some attention. There I was, yeah. Where's that guy? Right. Right, let's have a look. Oh, it's a random Oh, there it is! Good boy, it's gone again. Right. Oh! There it is! Don't stop! Go on. Oh, don't, 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 what have you got to say from what? Dad says I'm not a subscriber of a summit. There you go, hit subscribe. Right, we're actually getting somewhere now, which is great, but I think to get the most out of the concept, we need to make him more invested in the trick. Do you get the coin? It says a sausage. On three. One, yeah. two, three. Where's the sausage down? Where's the sausage? Sausage. So to get the most out of this concept, I think we need to establish some ground rules. The tricks need to be dog friendly. I don't think anyone's expecting him to understand the card trick. Five, six, seven, That's a eight. Trap. No. Is any card at any number? Where are you going? That's rubbish. The tricks need to be quick. Basically, if it can be done on a TikTok, it can be done on a dog. Same attention span. And the tricks need to be visual. A mind reading mentalism routine ain't gonna cut it in the canine world. We're dealing with a dog here, not Devon Brown. So now we've established the rules, I think I've got the perfect trick. Not that one. That one. Rubik's Cube to chocolate. No, 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 no. To make this work, we need to make it dog friendly. So how about Rubik's Cube to dog treats? It's just a Rubik's Cube. Ah, watch out. On three. One, two, three. Bam! The changes are sweet. Bam! The changes are sweet. You're just happy to be intrigued, aren't you? This isn't... Well, I've that. Is he puzzled? He's not really aware that anything magical is happening, so we need something that he's going to enjoy and he still thinks is magic. And I think I've got the perfect trick. The phone in bottle trick. Let's just swap the phone for a dog treat and we might get somewhere. Right, see this lovely bit of sausage? Yeah. Watch this, on three. One, yeah. two, three. What? Where's it in there? What? What? Where's it in that far? Dad. It's 
bit tight, that, innit? Laugh. I now want to try it with a slightly longer trick and let's see if it'll still grab his attention. Oh, I, the cups and balls trick. First hot dog. Laugh. On three. One, two, three. For the top of the cup. Snap. The second one like this. It disappears underneath the cup. Never snap. The third one. Watch this. Laugh. Put it in my pocket. Laugh. Yeah? What? What do you think it is? It's under the cup. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. yeah, you can have that now. Snap. Inside the cup. What? Oh, Teddy. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! What else is inside? Look. What do you reckon for that? Snack. Maybe we're better off with an audible illusion rather than a visual illusion. Oh. Oh, what's that? Dot a dot. Oh. Where's the truth? Wow. Oh. Dot a dot. What's that, Lord? Okay. Where's it? Oh. Where's it? Oh my God! Dot a dot. Oh. Oh, that's so, that's the best one. Oh, that's the best one. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So, did we answer the question? Do magic tricks work on dogs? Uh, probably not, to be honest. I think basically what we've discovered is that dogs what? are harder to fool than humans. Yeah. Maybe they're not as thick as we think. No. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Press this. Whoa, don't knock that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe not. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you click on this one. The very first time I tried showing Wally a magic trick, it's fair to say it didn't go very well. Oh, and check out my Patreon, you legends. I'll see you later on.